Bolo Museum, hanging out with Jim. We are in showroom four, and you said this has been updated recently. Yes, this whole area we repainted and added a bunch of new, really cool things, so I wanted to talk about a couple yeah. of them. Behind you, we have Duesenbergs. Duesenbergs, you know the phrase, it's a doozy? Yes. That came from the Duesenbergs. These came out during the Great Depression. Europe at the time was making all these amazing cars for all these rich people, mm -hmm. and rich people in the States really didn't have much besides Model T's and some other stuff, and during the Great Depression, two guys from Indiana created the Duesenberg. These are like cartoon cars, like yeah. Cruella de Vil, just amazing cars. At the time, you had a choice of either buying five houses, 50 okay. Model T's, or one Duesenberg, just to say. Now they're worth you know at least a half a million dollars yeah. each. And we've rented them out to Leonardo DiCaprio. Brad Pitt just used one awesome. for the movie Babylon. So these are like still the mecca cars of cars. But what's crazy is the steering wheel is right up against here, so they had to put a little oh, knob yeah. on. So when you're driving, I mean, even you're a like, guy my height, but even your size, you'd have trouble driving it. You have to kind of do this little <laughs> shimmy to get the Game. car to turn. This is a boat, but it is also a car. Yeah, <laughs> these are really cool. These are called Amphi cars. They only made a few thousand of them, and there's only a couple left in existence today. What's really cool about this car is you drive right into the water. So you're driving like a regular car, you just hit this little lever that seals the doors, and you just drive into the water. And the wheels keep spinning the whole time, and there's a little pop in the back that spins, and you drive around, and then when you're done, you just drive right back out. The wheels are turning the whole time. And a fun story about this, Lyndon B. Johnson, one of the presidents, had one of these at his property, and he'd have his friends over, and he'd be driving around, and also be like, ah, the brakes! <laughs> and like everybody would freak out, and he'd drive into the lake, and then drive away. <laughs> So there's a horse over here. <laughs> <laughs> a horse and a car. This is yeah. early 1900s. And I love that even back then, there was such creativity and ingenuity at the time. And Moxie was just a soda. And instead of just having guys walk around in carts and sell it, they wanted to be more creative. So they made a couple dozen of these Moxie mobiles. So they took this horse, put it on top of this car, and built it through so you actually sit up on the horse and drive this car around and sell the soda. So even back then, there was only a couple dozen made, and I think there's only three in existence today. Wow. So it's a super rare historic piece, but as a marketing guy, I love this kind of stuff because it's just so much, this is 100 years ago, yeah. and there's this dude, they're like, good day, madam, and all of a sudden there's this guy <laughs> on this horse car driving around selling sodas. Are those really Moxies? Yeah, those are old school. The old school I Moxie. bet they taste terrible if you open I them right you. now. <laughs> so you have a lot of different Batmobiles here, but yeah. is this one the most recent? This one's the most awesome, okay. I think. <laughs> the the other awesome. ones are iconic, but this thing is just absolutely so... So this is from the Dark Knight series. Uh -huh. Christopher Nolan made it, and when he designed it, he wanted it to fully function. Most movie cars are kind of... BS. They're not, it's a lot of special effects. Yeah. But he wanted, these, he tested this with like NASA equipment. He, these things go 100 miles an hour, they jump, and they made about six of these for the movie. This was one of the stunt cars that was completely demolished during the filming and uh, was scrapped, basically. So one of the guys pulled all the pieces. It's about 75% screen use parts, and then they had to fabricate some parts to completely build it. But this is the only one not used, you know, out of like studio possession. This is the only one in the world that's on display now, but you can see in back. I mean, this thing is just so awesome. Don't you feel lucky that this is your job? It's adult <laughs> Hot Wheels. Like, yeah. all I do is just play with adult Hot Wheels all day. <laughs> You guys have had these forever? Yeah, yeah, we've had these for a while. Is this the only uh, Moldoramas you have here? There's, um, I think the Museum of Science and Inter Industry might have some. Other than that, they're super rare. There's not many left in the world, especially functional. It takes a lot yeah. of, uh, we have a guy named Terry on staff, and all he does this job is just to go around and fix all these animatronics and kitty rides and this stuff, and you can't just get these parts on Amazon. They're really right. hard to find. Um, but I, I really appreciate the Grams family because they spend an insane amount of money. These are just look cool just walking by and looking at right. them, but they want you to smell the wax and get burned yeah. by the, you know, they want you to experience it when we were kids and we experienced it. So um, I really appreciate that they keep all of these functioning all the time and this is a piece of history that you can use. And I didn't realize um, in Disneyland, I thought these were just all over as like part of Disneyland or Disney mm -hmm. World, but they were used for the World's Fair in the 60s. They would take these out to different big events and they'd put these out there to promote Disneyland, to bring Crazy. people out to Disneyland. So that's a, another amazing marketing tool that, who would think of something like this? are doing tours? Are you still doing tours? We're not doing tours now, okay. we're revamping. So okay. this summer we're gonna have haunted tours, we're gonna have halfway to Halloween tours okay. with monster trucks and big inflatables. Awesome. And we're still during the winter, a lot of museums are closed. We're still open every single day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, we get all the details on your website, which yep. is? Volofun.com. 
We always have so much fun in Volo. I love my little Moldorama Donald Duck. Don't forget to answer our Fan of the Week question on our Facebook page. You might win tickets to the Volo Museum. A Game Day's next with our video producer, Tyler. We'll be right back.